My name is Unidal Mitchell. I am a member of the Pyramid Lake Paiute Tribe. I was born here in Nixon, Nevada, 71 years ago. When I was nine or 10 years old, I remember watching my mother do buckskin work. I thought it was pretty neat how she made the beads stay on the buckskin. How did she do that? Grandma was always doing beadwork too. She told me, you know, Dal, you need to learn how. It will help you make money to buy groceries. My sister Valda did the loom work too. All three of these women taught me how to bead. It was hard at first. I had to learn about the different sizes of the threads, beads, and needles. I made many mistakes. Several times I picked the wrong bead and I didn't notice it until I was almost done. I went back and took it off. Now, if there is a different bead, I just leave it. It's my mark. I taught all three of my daughters to do their own beadwork. Over the years, I lost all three of my teachers to the Great Spirit. I left beading and one day I got tired of watching TV, reading, and doing housework. I picked up the needle and started beading again. Sometimes I give my beadwork away and one day one of my friends asked me to bead a vase. She said, I'll pay you for it. It reminded me of what my grandmother told me. I saved the money I make from my beadwork and when someone needs help, I pull it out. My grandkids have also taken an interest in beadwork and even my 14-year-old great-granddaughter. She wants me to teach her friends, but I told her, you know enough to teach them herself. It is important to keep teaching our community, our cultural traditions. I love beading. It can teach you patience, how to listen, and how to take your time.